Hey team, Mark Zies here, Bible Land Explorer. I am here today with Peter. Yes. Who is going to be my mountain guide. Yes. And he's been to the top of Kilimanjaro and Meru uncountable times. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you. You think we're going to be okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I believe you. Yes, I believe yes, you yes, entirely. yes. Don't worry. All right. You're going to make there. You are going to make it to the top. We're going to make it to the top. Here yes, we go. Yes. And no yeah. lions on the top. No lions. <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, arrived at the uh, base of the mountain. We've met our guide, and now we're going to pick up the rest of the team. This is Noel. He was our uh, driver from the uh, from the airport, airport yesterday, yes. and uh, he's a driver of excellence. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, the uh, cook and the porters are yes. getting on. The rest of the team right now, they're going to be riding with us up to the mountain. So uh, here we go. Peter's gone to uh, take care of all the paperwork, so we're uh, hanging out here <laughs> among some of the uh, flora and fauna at the park entrance. You can't see anything up there at the mountain. That's because today is uh, completely overcast. Uh, last night, as I was uh, resting in my bed, I could hear um, rain falling periodically. Anyway, we're um, here at the gate complex and in just a few minutes we're going to be meeting a couple of other people that are going to walk the trail with us today as i understand we'll have a ranger uh, with us for the first day second day um, as well i think maybe and then the third day it's just me and peter um, making our way up to the, the rim of uh, mount meru Uh, we've met our armed soldier. His name is Good Luck. He's carrying a rifle. There's something about a man carrying a rifle whose name is Good Luck. Here we go. So we've arrived at our first camp, and as you can see, I've cleaned up a bit. Uh, pretty hot and sweaty after moving through some wet and drippy forests for about six hours. But uh, we're here now resting quietly, and I got some hot tea and a bit of popcorn, and uh, dinner's being prepared. Hopefully we'll get a good sleep tonight. We've got another thousand meter climb tomorrow. As I understand, it's a lot of uh, zigzaggy stuff and uh, a bit steeper than today. And today was pretty steep in places. But anyway, all is well. Go day two, heading up into the clouds. Yeah, everybody's ready. Good luck is carrying the gun. It's probably full of water. <laughs> So the sun has come out and uh, the trees are beginning to give way to the moorland. And as you can see, if you look behind me, um, the treeless hill, there's the team. They're looking strong, looking great. Only are looking. Only are looking. <laughs> we're gonna enter into the moorland into the sun. And then uh, once we get up there, we're gonna go to the saddle camp and then a brief uh, uh, acclim acclimatization hike to the top of Little Meru, which you can see right up there, somewhere in the trees.
It's a beautiful view from up here. Perhaps you can see out there on the horizon, Mount Kilimanjaro. That's the one that attracts all of the climbers and all of the attention. But right here, Mount Meru is a mountain in its own right. It too is a volcano that blew its top. And we're here right now at the uh, summit of Little Meru and uh, just getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna be hiking up there to the rim and walking along the edge of Big Meru, which uh, is uh, staggering to contemplate from this position. Perhaps you can see out there the ash pit, which is rising right there in the center. And at one time, the caldera went all around that uh, center point right there. Well, there's the rim. That's where we're headed tomorrow morning. <laughs> So we start. We're gonna start. We got our headlamps on. We're ready to go. It's one in the morning. Yes. And by sunrise, we will we'll be, be there. We will be there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God be with us. Thank you, God. <laughs> yes. Thank you, God. Let's do it, brother. This is day four, and the last four days we've been up there yes. in the mountains. And what you can see right behind us is Little Meru. Little Meru. Which is how high? Uh, 3,820 meters above mile sea level. 3,820. Now, yes. what we can't see because it's in the clouds is Big Meru, which is even yeah, taller. Yeah. How, how big is 4, that? 4,666. A long way, yes. <laughs> a long way. <clears throat> anyway, four, we have six, six, six. four, six, six, six meters above yes. sea level, yes. which is like 15,000 feet. Yes. And both Little Meru, Big Meru, and all of this business behind us is part of an enormous volcanic action that happened a long time ago, Caldera, Ash Pit, the whole mm -hmm. nine yards. Yeah, and we, uh, the two of us, along yes. with a few others, yes. we've been walking around the rim yes. of the of the caldera. We went through the uh, center this morning, and uh, we've seen a lot of animals. We saw baboons, and what yeah. else? What else? Did it was we see? Uh, bushbuck, bushbuck, and buffalo. Buffalo. When we came in, we red dica. Red dica. We I stepped in a lot of buffalo on the trail. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it yeah. was a it was a great trip, and uh, I just want to thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Peter and his team were spectacular, and uh, I'm so glad that I'm here in Tanzania. You have a beautiful country, my friend. Thank you very much. You're welcome again. All righty. Thank yes. you, friend. Thank Woo. you.